One of the problems we are seeing these days is that a lot of patients are being subjected unnecessarily to a TISA procedure. Let me explain. Lots of infertile couples are infertile because the man has a problem. There's a problem with his sperms. Now, sometimes it's a problem which is easy to diagnose. There's a low sperm count called oligospermia. There is poor sperm motility, which is called asthenospermia. But now a lot of labs are offering more fancy testing. And one of the tests they offer is called sperm DNA fragmentation or a DFI. Now, the trouble is most doctors don't understand anything about genetics or DNA or DNA fragmentation or how it correlates. But the moment the report comes back as, oh, you have a high sperm DNA fragmentation index, then the patient obviously gets worried because it's in red and it's abnormal. And the poor doctor says, okay, fine, there's a problem, I need to treat you. So initially they do all the standard stuff by giving medication, which obviously doesn't help. So then they say, yes, you need to do IVF ICSI because that will help. And when the IVF ICSI cycle in a man with a high sperm DNA fragmentation index fails, then they say, oh, well, it failed because your sperm DNA fragmentation was okay. And therefore, we need to actually do a testicular sperm aspiration and extract the sperm from the testis and then do ICSI. This is complete rubbish. You don't need a teaser. Please don't allow a doctor to stick needles into your testis if you have sperm in your semen. It's not good for you. It will waste a lot of your money. It will actually reduce your pregnancy rates. But this is not something which IVF doctors tell you. And the reason they do the teaser is obviously because they can charge you more and say, hey, we're taking fresh sperm out of the testis and therefore the sperm DNA fragmentation is going to be less, which is a complete load of rubbish because the DNA is what it is and it's produced inside the spermid inside the testis. But what they don't also tell you, and this is information which they hide from you, is there is no correlation between sperm DNA fragmentation and embryo quality. But when they get poor quality embryos and the commonest reason for poor quality embryos is a bad IVF laboratory, rather than accept responsibility, they blame the sperm DNA for that. And patients don't understand and say, yeah, if the sperm DNA is abnormal, of course, the embryo is going to be abnormal, which is why it's so easy to be taken for a ride by bad IVF doctors. Please learn to protect yourself.